Hi there, my name is Damien Harris and I'm a Labour candidate in Fermanagh and South Tyrone for the Assembly elections on May the 5th. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, about the Northern Ireland Labour Representation Committee and about our vision for Northern Ireland. I joined the Labour Party in 2003 when Labour finally acquiesced and allowed people in Northern Ireland to join the party. I joined Labour because of its core values of social justice, human rights and equality. I also joined because of its founding principle. It was the party of the workers, set up by the workers and the trade unions and left-wing organisations like the Fabians to represent workers and to fight for their rights. Today, like in the 1900s, workers' rights are under threat and we need Labour to secure those rights. When Jeremy Corbyn was elected leader, our membership swelled from 350 to now over 1,200 members and 600 registered supporters, making us one of the largest parties in Northern Ireland in terms of membership. But Labour does not allow us to stand candidates in Northern Ireland in any election. They have banned us from representing our communities. I cannot believe that the party built on the principles of civil rights and equality, a party formed to represent workers, would turn their back on 1,800 members and supporters here in Northern Ireland and would refuse us the right to vote for a Labour candidate. The Northern Ireland Labour Representation Committee was formed this year as an umbrella under which eight Labour members could stand for Assembly election in Northern Ireland. We chose the name Labour Representation Committee because of its historical connotations. Because our, our very first conference in Belfast in 1907, our party was called the Labour Representation Committee. It was here in this country that we became known as the Labour Party. Keir Hardy, our leader in 1907, rejoiced in that first conference because there was a sign of the old order of religious bigotry passing away and a new era of labour and fraternity had begun. Today, almost 110 years later, we're still waiting for that new era. And still, today, 109 years later, labour is needed in Northern Ireland. I and my comrades in the Northern Ireland Labour Representation Committee grew impatient waiting for our right to stand. We could no longer sit back and watch as the Sinn Féin DUP-led executive plundered our country. We had to do something. We had to stand up, not stand by. We recognise that many of the issues affecting Northern Ireland must be tackled on a much larger canvas, and unlike most parties contesting this election, we make no apology for believing that the key to a successful Northern Ireland is the return of a Labour government to Westminster and the election of Labour MLAs in this province. We oppose the corporation tax cuts. Why are large and profitable country, co corporations being given a tax break when so many of our people are about to be hit with welfare cuts? When so many of our people are in low pay, working all the hours available, working two or three jobs just to survive? Corporation tax cuts will come at the expense of 4,000 teachers or doctors or nurses or firefighters or police officers. Is it really worth it? Sinn Féin DUP are putting all their eggs into one basket and there's no guarantee of success. We oppose any attempt to privatise our health service. It was Labour's Nye Bevan who created the NHS and I believe it is only Labour who can be trusted to secure Bevan's legacy. On a personal note, in 1999, uh, the NHS saved my life following a road accident. I owe my life to the NHS and I will fight tooth and nail to save the life of the NHS. I and all of my comrades are disgusted with the proliferation of a low-pay economy and Sinn Féin's blind ignorance to the suffering that it has caused so many families up and down this country. We will not take full pay in the Assembly unless our workers in this country get fair pay, and that includes our young workers. We will champion Labour's values, particularly that of, uh, of equality. We will stand up for women's rights. I trust women and so fully support the extension of the 1967 Abortion Act to Northern Ireland. Never again should a woman in this country receive a criminal conviction for exercising her human right. 
We will stand shoulder to shoulder with our LGBT brothers and sisters in our fight for equal marriage and in our fight to overturn the pernicious gay blood ban. I believe Northern Ireland needs change and I believe only Labour can offer that change. So on May the 5th, in Fermanagh, South Tyrone, North Antrim, North Down, Upper Ban, Lagan Valley, Belfast North, South and East, vote for that change. Vote for the Northern Ireland Labour Representation Committee. Thank you.